Hello, I am that I am. Haru Alman here. Just wanted to touch bases with you, give you an insight of what's going on. Literally, there is no money part two. That's what I'm going to be addressing today. It's literally some issues we got to think as sentient beings, as gods and goddesses, that what's going on really in our reality, our so-called reality, is not a reality. And what I mean by that is we're living in a matrix, you know, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Matrix and Terminator and whatnot, what's going out there. And th those are movies you definitely got to watch again and watch it with your third eye, as they would say, you know, and watch. Listen to the content. That's the key element. Listening to the content, what they're talking about, what they're delaying, what they're communicating with. So what I wanted to address is some issues. If it's no money since 1933, and what I mean by that since 1933, the Boyan or the gold standard, the gold has been outlawed or literally taken out of the money standard. Let me rephrase it like that. Money has been taken out of the system. So what they did is gave us a remedy. And we, I addressed that on some of my other videos and whatnot. But at the same time, we got to really understand who's in control here. You are in control. You're the god. You're the goddess. You're the master. They are the servants. And these are certain things we have to address and understand. We got to get rid of these egos. We got to get rid of these, um, this selfish mentality of thinking money is what it is. Money is the root to all evil. Yes, money is the root to all evil because money is manipulated. Money is a fictitious person. <laughs> It's a fictitious commodity. It's a fictitious tool. So it don't exist. It's kind of like this tool I'm using right now, the video. It's just an illusion of me being here, spitting and reflecting back to you my thoughts, my thinking, my living. You feel what I'm saying? So these are under th un things you must decode or understanding, but decode what I'm actually addressing. You feel where I'm coming from? So these are things I wanted to address. Small business owners, we must take back our small businesses, period. And what I mean by that, I mean supporting as a community, supporting your local business stores, business community base um, franchises, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? But literally, we got to start supporting that. We got to get back to sustainability sustainability literally start growing our own gardens we got to start becoming farmers we got to start becoming you know uh herders we got to go back to that room i'm not talking about where it got to be all you got to be out there physically putting it down no you can always hire somebody to do it <laughs> but at the same time have that availability you're making this money and you're taking this money and giving it back to the person who gave you that money that don't make sense to me why not give it back to you? Give it back, invest in yourself. Not taking commodities and all these tools and toys. and We get crazy. We go entertain ourselves majority of the time instead of putting things, you know, putting things in place to, to better your future. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. We put things in front of us. We go entertain ourselves for the now. Literally, think about that. We put stuff, entertainment for us for the now. Not thinking about future. It's literally, we don't think about the future. Oh, my retirement. Uh, retirement is not going to be there regardless of what you think. Look at look at the growth of old folks. You know, no disrespect, but look at that. Look at all these old timers literally are sitting over there working a job, already put their time in and they don't do not have enough so-called income to better their lives, to keep their lives going. Sustainability. Ain't that some that's a shame. That's literally a shame. And it's getting worse. Regardless of what you think, it's getting worse, period. Because what money has done, money has created an illusion. It has taken the essence of the people. It has taken the souls of the people. Literally, money has taken the souls of the people. So why do we still prosper in this fiat dollar? Look what it says. It says, in God we trust. Come on, people. Think about that. A legal tender, a piece of paper that we already use. We use paper throughout our whole career, throughout our lives. Come on, this is all it's printed on. It's a piece of paper. We just agree on to value it. And it shouldn't even be that way. We shouldn't even be looking at it that way. We should be looking at it as how can I help yo how can I help my fellow brethren or brothers or my sister? Huh? How can I help my fellow brother or my fellow sister? 
you know, without using so-called fiat dollars. You know what I'm saying? You have a trade or you have a skill or you have some kind of talent that we can utilize in our circle, each other's circle. And that's what we should be doing, period. So small businesses, support your small business and stop selling out small business owners. Please stop selling out to the big guys because they're knocking all your business. That's why you start doing community work. Literally doing community outreach. Maybe, for example, have some uh, community outreach. What I mean by that, maybe put on a uh, an event. You know, put on an event where you bring in people into your store. They're necessarily not buying things. Maybe you just have some things you just give for free for that time being. Once a month or something. Just to build the community. To get back the people. These are things that you can do automatically without a whole bunch of money going out. Obviously, you're going to get your money. And th this is funny thing because we always talk about the prophet, the prophet. Ooh, Muhammad was a prophet. Jesus was a prophet. And all these prophets, just think about it, people. You are the prophet. What is the corporation looking for? The bottom line. Why they say the bottom line? The prophet. That's what you became. Come on, symbolism. Let's get into it. Let's get an understanding of words, what words and phrases they have done and taken from you. As a sentient being, as the creator, and gave it you a remedy and said, this is what it is and this is how it's going to be. No, we got to make it and show them how it's going to be because you're the master. They're the servant, Obama and all the rest of the crew. They're servants. That's all their game is. That's all their place. That's what their place is. So period, small businesses, start some supporting them. And small business owners, please stop selling out because it's time to start facing the reality of who you are as a business owner you're the master so control your own destiny that's the key element control your own destiny and stop letting this government take control over you or well, i need to incorporate i need to do this i need to do that no be a business owner period you got unlimited as a sentient being as a sovereign individual as a sovereign god or goddess you have the right to unlimited contracts period point blank you don't have to license and register all your business with these government with these so-called incorporations of state of washington of state of florida of whatever state you're in come on people we got to start getting our reality back get our reality check back and these are some things that we need to check okay banks loans come on ain't no such thing really think about it ain't no such thing as a bank ain't no such thing as a loan come on people we got to get out of this matrix we got to get out of this matrix. We are the banks. We are the loans, people. We are. You are. <laughs> you are the loan. You are the bank. So act like one. Take advantage of it. It don't always have to be a fiat currency. It could be your currency, you, your energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm giving to you now. I'm giving my energy, my flow, my life, my understanding, my decotation. Come on, I'm making up words. They do it. Why can't we? <laughs> so we need to start understanding and taking back, taking back what is ours, what's naturally ours, not just naturally divine law. It's the divine law, the divine contract. Let me say it like that. It's the divine contract to take back what is yours, originally yours from birth, being born in a world not of our own. <laughs> But we got to take it back. We got to take it back because we're here for a reason. Everyone's here for a reason. Everyone meets everyone who we do meet. And like your vision, you're watching this video. And I'm about to go into the second video in a minute. But at the same time, I want you to start taking at heed some of these elements I'm actually giving out. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm not saying that. But at the same time, it's some things I came to realize here in the last couple months as my studies has been really intense, basically, there's no money out there. So people, bear with me. There's no money. So we need to start thinking as banks. We need to start thinking as gods and goddesses and masters. You are the currency. So be the currency. Act the currency. You know what I'm saying? Say the currency. You are the currency. And that's 944. I'll be wet back at you on the third video there is no money peace